Have you seen the movie Terminator, about a man who was half robot and half human? Well, that's the story about him, but now Elon Musk in the real world plans to do something similar. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of technology. In today's video, we are going to explore the intersection of humans and machines through Neuralink. So, without further ado, let's get started. Neuralink, the brainchild of Elon Musk, has been making waves in the technology and scientific communities. With claims of merging humans with artificial intelligence, it's no wonder that there is so much hype surrounding this innovative venture. But amidst all the excitement and media coverage, it is essential to dive deeper into the science behind Neuralink and its potential impact on our society. So, how does Neuralink work? Neuralink's system involves the implantation of tiny electrodes into the brain. These electrodes, finer than a human hair, are strategically placed to pick up electrical signals from individual neurons. Once these signals are captured, they are transmitted to a computer for decoding and interpretation. This intricate connection between the brain and technology opens up a realm of possibilities for medical treatments and human-machine interaction. By understanding and decoding the electrical signals generated by the brain, Neuralink's technology can potentially help researchers gain insights into how the brain works and develop targeted therapies for various neurological conditions. Neuralink made headlines by showing a video of a monkey playing Pong with his mind, controlled by a surgically implanted wireless device that can directly read brain signals and interpret its intended commands. The technologies that enable such communication between a computer and the brain are called brain-machine interfaces, also known as BMIs. Brain-machine interfaces, or brain-computer interfaces, as the terms are used interchangeably, are technologies designed to directly plug into the nervous system, the brain, the retinas in the eyes, which are actually a part of the brain itself, the spinal cord, or the peripheral nervous system. The Neuralink example and other similar technologies are designed to read and decode neural signals from individual neurons in selected parts of the brain in an attempt to understand the brain's outputs. Instead of the outputs going to the arm of a monkey or human controlling a joystick to play Pong or some other video game, they go to a computer that plays the game instead. More recently, Musk told a crowd in Dubai, over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. He added that it's mostly about the bandwidth, the speed of the connection between your brain and the digital version of yourself, particularly output. Currently, brain-computer interfaces are mainly one-directional, with the most common uses enabling some motor control and communication tools for people with brain injuries. There has recently been some success in stimulating the brain to feel. One of the first areas where this technology will be tested is among paralyzed individuals. Neuralink's president, Max Hodak, wants to try the new technology on five different paralyzed people. They will initially try to type on a computer with their minds. These types of experiments have been done before, but it won't stop there for Neuralink. The goal is for individuals to eventually be able to regain control of their paralyzed limbs. Individuals who are not able to speak will also be able to access the part of the brain that is responsible for speech. In the presentation, Musk talked about how they want the technology to be controlled by an app on your smartphone. This was a big point for them, as they believe if someone has to go to a lab full of scientists every time to use it, that would defeat one of its main purposes, which is giving people immediate access to brain-integrated AI. According to Neuralink, the procedure will be nothing like the image everyone has of brain surgery. There will be no clamps on the skull, and the patient will not need to be put to sleep. The technology will be able to be implemented while the individual receives only local anesthetic on the spot, there will be no heavy anesthesia and all of the complications or side effects that sometimes follow. There will also be no need to shave an individual's hair, and the area where the robot implants the technology will only be a small hole that will easily be covered up. The potential applications of Neuralink are vast and revolutionary. Imagine a future where paralysis becomes a thing of the past, as Neuralink could enable individuals to control prosthetic limbs with their minds. It could also be used to treat neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease or epilepsy by directly interfacing with the brain's neural activity. As we conclude our exploration of Neuralink, it's clear that we're witnessing the dawn of a new era. Elon Musk's vision for the future of human-machine integration is both exciting and thought-provoking. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find this video more insightful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.